Hey guys, it's Robert 2 Destroyer or Mormonker here. I'm going to teach you how to install Warfare 44 for versions 1.7.10 and 1.12. The main difference between the two versions at this moment is 1.7.10 has vehicles, while 1.12 does not. This will be changing in the future, and when that time comes, I will be making another video on how to install that one as well. So starting us off, obviously you need to have a premium version of Minecraft. Uh, as you open up your launcher, you'll notice if you play and you have your own current uh, releases on, you won't have any mods. So the main thing we need to get is Forge Mod Loader. So if you go into here and type in Forge Minecraft, we can get the specific version we need. Now, we're going to do 1.7.10 first, so go over to here. Click on 1.7.10, and you're going to click the Download Recommended. So you're going to go down here, and depending on your Windows or whatnot, but we're just going to be using the installer. So click on Installer. Wait for the Add to pass. And download this. So we have this now, Forge 1.7.10 version 1558 installer. If you double click on it, it will open up a little dialog box, which you're able to click install client. You can also change where it's going to be, but since we're going to be doing this on a normal default launcher, this is the way you would do it. If you're using another launcher, such as AT Launcher, Technic Launcher, or of course Forge, you can also make a uh, Forge instance on that and then add the mods manually the exact same way. So we're going to push OK. It's going to download libraries, and once it's finished, we'll notice that we'll be able to play in 1.7.10 Forge. It successfully installed client profile Forge reversion into the launcher. So you're going to go up to your launcher, go to installations, push the new button, you can name whatever you want. So we're going to call this one Flans Mod 1.7.10. Click on latest release, and if you scroll all the way down, you'll notice that there might be this right here. Release 1.7.10, forge, and then the version you want. Push create, and it'll make it, and you can switch to it, and push play, and you'll have forge. So, we're going to do that, just to get all the proper folders that we need in the mod installation process. All right, so now it's finished. It's going to be launching Minecraft for 1.7.10. And you'll notice that there's a little anvil here as well, and it's saying that it's installing Forge Mod Loader and open up your Minecraft. So the main thing you're going to be looking for is, say, three mods loaded, mods active. You also notice there's a mods button here. You can see what mods are currently in your Minecraft launcher via that. Anyways, well, that's what we're going to be needing to do for the moment, at least in here. So we can push Quick Game. And now we need to download the mod that we want to play with. In this case, it's going to be Warfare 44. So let's open up the Excel spreadsheet uh, that I have in the Discord. I'll be linking that in the description. Uh, here you'll see that there is 1.12 and 1.7.10. Well, since we're doing 1.7.10, let's do that one first. So there's two ways we can go about this. We can now just download the version of uh, Warfare 44 by itself, but and also get them the version of Flance mod as well. But it's probably just easier to just get the bundle link that I've already provided already. You might as well. So click on the bundle, click on Dropbox, and it's going to let you download it from here. So you click Download, Direct Download, put it to your desktop or wherever you're going to be putting this, and let's open that up when it's done. So if you open up this bundle, you'll notice it has a couple files in here along with a readme. What we're going to do is we're going to put these into our Minecraft directory. So how do you get to that, you may ask? Well, if you go to your search button and type in percent sign app data percent sign, click it. It'll bring you to a folder called roaming. You're going to be going to the dot Minecraft directory. Open that up and you might see, well, we have a mods folder just like over here. So the easy way of doing this is just taking every single one of these files and trying it in. Maybe not the read mailing, but to be more specific, if you open up the mods file, Open up the mods, drag these in, go back, go back. 
like the flam folder? Well, there's no flam folder in here, you may ask. Well, once you actually launch Minecraft, it will make a flam folder if you have flam spot in here. But since we can just do it earlier, we can just drag this folder in to the .minecraft itself, and there it is. And the last thing, this is for if you want to have block mods, uh, the invention mod, if you saw in here, is a nice way to get some World War II blocks that, you know, populate your game. This only is only on 1.7.10, keep that in mind, but you just take these two files, drag them as well into here. And that's it. One small thing to keep in mind when installing this is your only Flans mod should be Flans mod ultimate stability version, which is this version 1.3.1. You should not have Flans mod 4.10 or Flans mod for 1.12 in there. Uh, you only need this version to run Warfare 44. It is the same version with extra things added, and without it, Warfare 44 will not run. Keep that in mind. Well, now we can launch Minecraft, and we will have all those working. On 1.7.10. constructing the mods, and you'll notice that in here, Flans Mod Ultimate is starting to appear, which is what we want. Flans Mod Ultimate Stability Edition is the one that we're going to be using. It is uh, the most latest version of it, but we can open up a new world, go to Creative just to see if it worked. Go to Create New World. And open up our inventory. And you'll see at the top now, we have a, a little tab button. So if you click on that, you'll notice there's a couple things here. So we can actually pull out one of these guns, vehicles, etc., and play around with it. Pretty neat. So, another quick question was, how do you get things to fire properly? Well, I might as well just show it now. So, let's do a Hoggo, for example. If you select it, it says use a 37mm AP shell. So, we can go to the guns, sorry, it is the vehicles, look for 37 here, or we can just type it in 37mm. Turn the music down, just don't want to blast you guys' ears. Yeah, right if you right click to get in, push R, R, and it opens up this menu for the shells, and you can see it actually tells you what, well, whatever weapon you need to use to actually use it. So we can throw that in there, and we can left click, start down as well, it's a little loud as well. We can left click to fire. And you do require fuel if you're in survival mode, but in creative you do not. But we can move around with WHD. And then when you're ready to get out, the shift. Uh, regular guns, it's really similar, honestly. You push the R button when you have the two weapons that are using the correct ammo, and it will reload it. And you can also change this with the semicolon slash colon key, but you can change which type of hand you want to do for left click and right click. But it's typically uh, left click is to uh, shoot and right click, you hold it to aim. And there you go. Well, that's what it is for 1.7.10. And I will see you guys now for 1.12. All right, let's just say you want to, instead of playing 1.7.10, you can play 1.12. So, well then the same way we can do it, we can actually just get the bundle link by the Dropbox once again. We can direct download this and download to our desktop. Now, this mod is using a uh, different mod than Flans mod. It's using Modulus, which is completely different, but it has the same render as Flans mod, but regardless, very similar. Same models, slight changes, not too much other than that. So, the main thing is now we got to download 1.12 version of Forge. So, go to 1.12, 1.12.2. We're going to click the download recommended once again, and we're going to download the installer. Wait for this to finish as well. Skip. Go to your desktop again. We're going to click on that Forge installer the exact same way as last time. Install client. Push OK. Slightly different, but more or less the same process. So installing. We can open up that Minecraft, just in case, and see if it's it there. We have ready to do it for us, but just in case, you might need to do it the same way. But other than that, that's what we got. Now, the main difference between this one is we're going to have to have these mods out of here. So we're just going to delete both the flans and mod folder for the moment, because we only have those mods in there. You can also delete invention if you want. But the way it works for 1.12 is you open up the zip for that one, 
and you just take these two mods and throw them in there the exact same way. You can replace, you can open up the mods folder and put them in there if it's up to you, but those are the two files that you need. And we can launch Minecraft. All right, so now you can see that Modulus was actually down there. It's currently loading that up. So once this is done, we can pull that up and make a new world and give it a go. All right, so loading in, we also have the little pull tab, War for 44, and look at all these guns. Now, the main difference between this version and the previous version is the amount of customization. So you can actually add yourself, uh, add yourself uh, some new gadgets, per se, for your character. So let's just uh, pull out German uh, camouflage and some pants and boots and a helmet. And... Well, let's just say we want to make it look a little bit more nicer. So we're going to throw these on, and you say, oh, well, I wish it had a little bit more gear to it. Well, the cool thing is you're actually able to add those. You can do any gear you want, but let's just do the German stuff specifically. Let's, uh, is that a great coat? Like we can add, if we want to, the webbing. And let's go with a gas mask. So... What we can do is just saying, oh, how do I put these on? Well, the way it works is you actually have to be in survival mode. And you'll see there's a little bobbles uh, button right here, or equipment in this case. And you're actually able to put them on. So there's the gas mask, vest, webbing. Well, we could also put the great coat on as we wanted to, but it's either or in that case. And there you go. Now you get yourself a little bit more kitted out German soldier. And you can do... Uh, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> You can do whatever you want with that case. Uh, if you delete it, it might not go away. You have to go back into survival to actually delete it. Like that. Oh, that's neat. <laughs> uh, guns work very similar. Some of them have improved models. Not too many, but some uh, extra little bits and bobs to them. Uh, overall, though, pretty similar. Let's say uh, MPPS. Hard to reload. You have also a new crosshair. If you hold a shift, you actually gain more accuracy, and you also zoom in. But anyways, there's also a little bit more animations. Other than that, that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it's helpful. Uh, join the Discord if you have any, any questions. It'll be linked in the description. And have a great rest of your day. Thanks.